Hi guys, y'all see the turkeys taking off? <clears throat> Reason they are is I just ticked them off. They were up here eating over there by the gate. Past Bob there. We feed them up around that oak tree right there. And we heard them talking. I walked over to ask them what they were saying. And one of them asked me, we're we going to grow vegetables in that greenhouse. And I told them, yeah. They asked if we were going to grow any corn. I said, no. <laughs> and they got mad and walked off. Believe that? There's a couple sandhill cranes. They come up from time to time. Sometimes they'll get in a fight with the turkeys, and sometimes those two cranes will win, and sometimes the turkeys will win. Just depends on who's hungry enough, I guess. Okay, what we've done today is we've run our two by sixes uh, down the, both sides. We've got one on each end. We're going to have three in that gap right there. And we we're going to use plastic, but I think I'm going to go ahead and in this gap, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hang fiberglass instead. And I'll do that on each end. And then here, well, first, that's our door slot. There'll be a door on this end. It'll be a seven foot slide door. On the other end, it'll be a seven foot slide door. And from the top of our two by sixes here, from there to the uh, beginning of the bow for our roof, uh, this will all be curtains. And uh, you guys that's got them know we'll just have the roll up curtains. And uh, that's how we're going to go with that. We're going to run 30 inch uh, fiberglass down the length of this thing. And we're going to go ahead and run the fiberglass today, but we got to looking at it, and I don't like the looks of it. That's the used fiberglass that came with the building. <clears throat> and being this close to the house, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put new fiberglass. So we'll pick some fiberglass up Monday and uh, go ahead and, and use new stuff. But again, guys, uh, we got this building used and uh, got a great deal on this thing. So <clears throat> we're very fortunate. And uh, to know a guy like Billy that deals with these things and uh, with the economy, a lot of these places have uh, gone out, unfortunately. And uh, not that we're making a whole lot of money, because we're not. We're making enough to exist right now. But in these times, with the way the economy is, I consider that being successful. So anyway, as long as we can keep our head above water, we're happy campers. This stuff will eventually turn around, uh, but we could see it get a lot, lot tougher before it does, and I am one that firmly believes we are going to see some tough times ahead of us before this thing starts getting better. So anyway, but again, there'll be 30-inch uh, sides, uh, fiberglass. From there to the uh, top will be uh, our curtains, and that's about what we've got done today. We've uh, we had to come in and we had to duct tape. Uh, let me see if I see. Well, like right there, for example bolts were sticking out so what we've done anywhere we had a joint or a lip or we were joining purlings together we made three wraps with duct tape and uh, so we won't tear that plastic in any way I'll tell you what guys it's coming on and I'm gonna love this thing and Debbie can't wait so to get us some little plants going in here anyway but the main reason we're doing this number one we like to grow garden and you know, we like to eat the fresh fruits and uh, vegetables, and uh, with Debbie juicing like we've been juicing, uh, well, almost a year now, but we juice 20 to 25 different fruits and vegetables each morning, and it's costing us about anywhere from 110 to 120 bucks a week for all this stuff. Now, we supplement a lot of it with our garden, depending on the time of the year, but by putting this thing here up, this will help us out tremendously from a cost standpoint and uh, because we can grow so much stuff year round now. So that's what Debbie and I were looking at. And actually, this was Debbie's idea. Why don't we put a greenhouse up? I'm like, why don't you buy us one and we'll put it up. So that's what she did. So anyway, guys, I'm going to shut her down and uh, it's coming along and probably Monday we'll work some more on this thing and we'll We'll get everything done. We may even possibly get the curtains hung Monday. Uh, it just depends on the time and, and Billy getting down here because we need to hang these doors. But I'm hoping that we can by Tuesday 
we can have the doors up and the plastic down the sides and the plastic on the ends. And then we're probably going to stop with this thing until the following Monday because we've still got to pressure wash the house and get it going Monday and Tuesday. And i got meetings all day Wednesday and then uh, Thursday and Friday. Uh, Debbie's lining us out about something about cleaning carpets. You guys know anything about cleaning any carpets? So anyway, we're just going to be prepping from Tuesday on to getting ready for this uh cookout we're going to have and again if you guys can make it anybody's close come on if you ain't jump on the darn plane and come on diane bobby come on okay guys well y'all have a great day and uh this is where we got to and uh we'll just be giving a few updates as we progress along with this thing i uh, appreciate you guys and uh, all your comments and all your information and uh, knowledge that you share uh, it's just been great guys and uh, listen y'all have a great weekend and god bless